Hello friends, welcome back to NHS RN. Today we are going to see how we can do intramuscular injection in OSCE exam. Intramuscular injection, IM injection. Okay, so IM injection and subcutaneous injection are almost similar, but here I would like to do separately. So let's see in IM injection it's a 12 minute station and you must complete two time ID check okay and uh, it's a community setting most of the time um, so uh, be careful um, so be prepared for community settings and hospital settings okay you know wh what we have to do when it is community um, settings it's a some little difference actually uh, id checks and you know the explanation has a little difference but apart from that everything is almost similar most of the time im injection you will get um, hydroxocobalamin which is one meals it which has um, it has uh, it to, you need to give every three months so uh, you need to ask the patient when you had the last time dose and why you just explain to the patient why the patient is having this injection and things like that okay then um, the medicine ampule definitely you need to write the uh, slot number okay so let's see how we can prepare for the IM injection so initially as usual just before the OSCE station um, IM injection station you will get a case file like a paper paperwork so you can read in that paper everything has there like patient name address date of birth and everything what injection you need to give how you need to give and everything is there so that is the paper you need to as a kind of drug chart even you can you need to compare that one with the medication and ID check yeah so that you have to read what it is so that is the thing you need to do initially then after that once you're ready ask the examiner that I tell the examiner that I'm ready to start the procedure so once you read this one go into the station then uh, just prepare yourself like take relax yourself then once you are ready just, just what you need to do just to go through all the procedure in your mind so that takes if two to five minutes just sit down and relax think that how you're going to do your IM injection then once you think about everything once you feel comfortable tell the examiner that I am ready so that time you can start your procedure which is 12 minutes okay and in between if you need any help just ask the examiner that I need to drink a bit of water or glass of water they definitely give you okay so don't get panic that's the most important tip for um, every station in Ovski okay so in introduction you need to uh, gel your hands and uh, say that it is safe to approach close the uh, curtain for privacy all that kind of thing you have to go through and when you introduce yourself you need to um, say that um, I am my name is this I am your nurse today looking after you today I come here to give you an IM injection of um, you know hydro hydroxycobalamin which i am going to give you today you know why it why this what is the action and when it, you had it the last time and where you had the last time and you know you need to ask the patient whether why patient does know about why the patient having this if not you need to explain that and uh, sometimes you can um, you know in the either you can explain here's the side effect or you know when you're preparing you need to explain the side effect to the patient as well and the dose and the last dose when the patient had all the things you have to go through then after that um, in id check you need to ask the patient name and uh, um, date of birth the most of the time we check nhs number here we have to check what do we have to do address okay so you need to check patient address in hospital you have to do patient id band okay id band and then just um, and just number and things like that so and then um in the, in the terms of privacy in community settings you need to um 
tell the patient uh, tell the examiner that i assume the patient has privacy uh, drawing curtains and close the windows and things like that so you have to verbalize it you providing privacy before you do the procedure okay when you search for uh, uh, patient when you uh, assess the patient's skin uh, you can ask sometimes you can ask the, if, he, if the female patient you can ask is the mastectomy had a patient had a mastectomy or things like that or patient is on uh, anticoagulant these are the extra things um, if you think you could manage then go through this extra um, extra kind of care otherwise go through the normal way of I am injection okay so the normal protocol then then once you done all the things you have to tell the patient that I'm going to prepare everything and come back in a second come back in minute um, then if you need any help ring the bell or give me a shout so just to make sure that patient is comfortable then uh, if it is in a um, community settings you have to ask the patient that um, can i use the sink to wash my hand okay so then you uh, you just do a hand washing proper hand washing so because you can show the examiner that you can you know how to do proper hand washing okay so in that time you try to do a hand washing if not you can do gel that is not a problem but the uh, examiner is always check whether you do a proper seven steps of hand hygiene according to the who okay so just to do the hand washing then after that uh, take a clean tray and verbalize that the uh, the tray is clean uh, for the last 24 hours uh, with, uh, it is washed with the soap and water and it is clean for the last 24 hours and ready to use okay so that you can verbalize that and uh, it's IM injection or subcutaneous injection any injection with a needle definitely you need to take sharpen so that's the most important thing as soon as you take the tray take the yellow bin so you won't forget it okay so the yellow bean means sharp bean okay then you need to take a syringe two two mil syringe then needle loading needle which is a filter needle blend filter needle which is most of the time 21 uh, uh, 21 gauge which is mostly red color but just to read the label before you take it it's a blend needle or non uh, blend needle it's a filter needle take a filter needle because you are taking ampule so uh, that's why you need to um, go for a filter needle okay then administration uh, needle which is 23 gauge mostly it is a um, blue needle with a safety it's, it should be one goes and a plaster if you're taking plaster you need to make sure that patient is not allergic to plaster so it's it is not really required and if you feel uh, if you feel uh, how do you practice you practice if you practice properly mm, with a the plaster then take a the plaster if not it's not really required if you're um, planning to apply plaster just ask the patient are you allergic to uh, plaster okay if no um, that's the thing you need to remember then um, then you have to have it two um, goes sorry uh, alcohol alcohol wipes uh, one is for cleaning the uh, tip of the uh, ampule okay then you have to verbalize the prescription everything you have to go through it patient name then patient address patient date of birth everything you have to go through and the medication as well then in the medication you have to go for five rights five six seven eight rights what are the rights you learned so you have to go through everything that you have to cross check with that's the paper you need to use for cross checking okay so that's the articles for im injection i hope you understand um, this much procedure and i'm planning to do an another video because this video is getting very lengthy so stay tuned for the im injection second part if you have any doubt just put it in the comment so or contact me um so anything just uh, contact in the uh, put it in the comment uh, i definitely get back um, i'll definitely give an answer and if you need any study materials you can also contact to the whatsapp so i always happy to help uh, thank you so much have a nice time enjoy your preparation keep on practicing practice make you perfect 
have a nice time bye